a quiz. How many of you know your workload? Number of projects, and how many of these project teams are co-located versus distributed? Let me tell you that every single task that you have to work together with people that are not co-located with you will become very complex. You will encounter what we call hidden costs. Miscommunication, coordination, and decision wait time. How many of you know your teammates' workload? Are they busy? Yes, you dial in, everybody says, how is it going? Very hectic. Your busy and my busy are very different. We may have the same number of projects, but my projects are all global, yours are all co-located. Complexities are very different. How many of you really know all the workplace and technology infrastructure choices that your company is offering you and which one to choose when you interact with your teammates, either co-located or distributed? How many of you know, in the context of wherever you find yourself, what is your potential degree of engagement? Are you underperforming or underutilizing what you are being offered? Do you know all these choices? And last but not least, how often does your workload, the place you work, and the infrastructure you have available change. How often? Uh, five times a day because you are at your desk, then you are in the meeting room, then you are in the cafe, then you are in the car, by the way, doing go to meeting or link or WebEx with your cyber partners. How often? Many times a day, once a week, once a month, never probably more often. So uh, as we talk about well-being in our group, we uh, started to really make a clear distinction between well-being and wellness. Wellness is very important. Well-being cannot happen without wellness or health. Uh, but well-being uh, really tries to address uh, productivity, engagement, satisfaction, collaboration, cooperation, creativity, and I want to emphasize here that our focus is uh, knowledge workers in the workplace where the workplace is anywhere, anytime, with anyone. So with this in mind, we ask ourselves, uh, and I ask you, in your company, who owns well-being? Which department do you go and talk with? Who is taking care? We know wellness, that's HR. They take care of your health benefits. Uh, but going beyond that, who owns that? So in uh, this study, uh, we have been uh, focusing on a number of research questions that look at choice, transparency, synchronicity and feedback because we strongly believe and have a lot of evidence that people are wired for feedback. If you give them feedback, you give them control and you allow them to self-regulate as individuals and as teams. Mm -hmm.